Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel again with the series of One Night. Today we're going to get into One Night Full Circle, which is the third game from the series, I believe. Although One Night 2 might have been slightly disappointing to me, I'm still very excited to play One Night 3 Full Circle, just because I, I really liked the first game. I really did. I really enjoyed playing it, so I want to see if this one is... Um, at least on par, at least better than two, I mean. I wish they have abandoned the damn turn-based combat system. I didn't like that at all, how they did that. So now my fingers are crossed that One Knife Full Circle is going to be a good actual game. So let's get started. Please select the difficulty level that you wish to play. You know what, I doubt that this is going to be that hard, so I'm gonna choose hard for experienced players because that's what I am I'm an experienced player it's been three months now since my sister Alyssa went missing she was a journalist sent to the town of Stillwater to report on some scientific press conference of course something went wrong and she never returned quite simple quite simple contact with the town was lost and v and the contact with the town was lost and the various people who were sent to investigate and never came back. I'd given up Alisa for dead, but then I received a strange letter in the mail. The letter was written by Alisa herself, dated from three months ago. Who sent it to me? Is Alisa herself still alive, trapped in Stillwater? If she's out there somewhere, it's up to me to find her. I don't know what happened on that one fateful night in Stillwater, but it's the reason why Alyssa is gone. I've got no other leads to follow now. There's only one logical place to search now, and that's Stillwater itself. Okay. So we're starting in a nice way. One night, full circle. Music just went quiet in a very weird way. And there is the protagonist. <sighs> the town can't be much further ahead now. I'm coming for you, Alyssa. Okay. You can use the arrow case to move around the area. Interact with the objects using... Uh, object of interest with the enter key. You can press the escape key to weave and use your items. That's very basic. What the hell are you? It's some big flower. I don't think it normally grows around here. Yeah, before I go north... I'm gonna visit here. I don't know what's down this way, I should check the northbound path instead. I'm gonna call it, we're gonna go underground, and that's gonna be the place where I walk out in the end of this game. And if I'm correct, the the, the developers of this game owe me f f five five thousand dollars, yes. That, that, that's, that's right. And a new camera. IS THERE ANYONE HOME?! I'm getting serious one night two vibes from that. That's not a good thing. Oh, sure, don't react to the blood at all. Pfft, fuck blood, who cares? Found discarded memo pad. Okay. Oh, I haven't even read this stuff yet. It's. My dear brother Tom, please excuse my abrupt departure. I had to leave at very short notice. I have been invited to be present at a press conference in the town of Stillwater regarding a scientific demonstration which I'm not allowed to inform anyone about yet. You, 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 you literally just informed, informed about it to your... Okay. I was urged to attend in secrecy and had to be abroad aboard the flight they arranged for me without having a chance to tell you. Nevertheless, I thought I'd let you know where I am. The demonstration is to be t is to take place nearly tomorrow, early tomorrow. They assure me I'll be back home soon after. Keep well, Alyssa. Um, I don't know. I actually kind of like the um, way they arranged the inventory now, so it doesn't look like a mess. What the hell? Where did everyone go? I can't seem to get the television or radio working either. And even though I can call people with the phone, I don't get any answer. I'm gonna go search in town. If you're reading this and I'm not back, assume the worst. Why? Um, uh, also, um, about the blood. 
you're not gonna react the blood. This clock has stopped ticking. It's stuck at nine o'clock. Though I have no idea if that's a.m. or p.m. Hey, how about the fact that the uh, fucking clock is covered in blood? I think this is the dumbest protagonist in any game ever. The water runs, but it's dirty and thick. Hey, are we in Flint, Michigan? The bed is drenched in blood. No way I'm sleeping in this thing. Oh, now you notice that things are drenching blood. And you're still like, nah, I don't care. Well, I found the blood trails. Yippee. Oh, there we go. Dude, are you okay? Friend? My god, he's been utterly mutilated. What cover could have done this? Found a silver key in his hand. Okay. Um, can we can we talk talk a while? Can we talk a while about the fact that you didn't understand that he was murdered? After you saw the blood trucks everywhere. Oi! Bitch! I got your key. Use the silver key. Found a steel bat. Go. Oh, the body is gone. That's what I assume, but the body is gone, which says that either the body moved or someone moved the body. There you go. Um, dude, why are you running? I'm a human. Caution, coal mine, integrant hard hat wearing employees only. Okay. Okay, but I have to enter the mine then. Oh, that's uncomfortable for the years. It's like... Thank you, video game. That's not good sound design. It's disgusting. Ah, that hurts. What the hell was that? Sounds like there's something alive out there. You're not alone. Enemies roam the area searching for prey. You will engage in combat if you come into contact with them. If this happens, you can choose to attack them with your hands or your equipped weapon, but be careful as doing this requires strength. If you're too low on strength to use your weapon, you may use stimulants to recover. Try to fight only as last resort. Try to avoid enemies. There we go! In the last game, you couldn't even avoid enemies. And in the game before that, you had to avoid enemies. Finally, this is a good middle ground, thank you. I can tell from here that he's dead. Blood is seeping out of from under the, his back. Oh! Sorry, didn't mean to bother you. Sorry, map. A computer. I can use to save my progress. Sure, save the game. There we go. We're getting started in the saving progress. A basin of cold, clear water. One use left. That's so smart! In the last game, you could use them all the time. I'm not gonna use that now. Wow, that's smart. Oof. You see, developers, this is how you create tension. This is so much like the first one, I love it! This is so much better, so much better, immensely better! Important! As you know by now, the main power generator has been acting up lately. So we've installed the new backup generator which will activate if the main power fails. In the meantime, until we fix the main, don't do anything to it which may stop it working. And for the love of God, try to make sure no foreign liquid gets in the machine. We had a gun for a, few, for a week last time somebody spilled their drink into it. You mean like a cola bottle? It's terminal for controlling the emergency power generator. 
The main one is still functioning. Where's the main one? Was this the main one? So, if I use my call button here... There we go! I'm a smart boy, see? I'm clever. I know what I'm doing. I'm not a fan of the sounds in these rooms. Oh! Whoa! Who are you? Are you one of them? What? Are you talking about those monsters? Who are you? Is there? I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm only searching for someone, that's all. Searching for somebody? Who are you? My name is Colt. I... I was a CIA agent. Now, how about you answer the question? Colt? Were you in earlier games? I'm Tom, Tom Hawking. I'm trying to get to Steelwater so I can find my sister, Alyssa. She disappeared in town. Who did you say you were looking for? A girl. Someone who I lost seven years ago. Her name is Tiffany. I received a letter telling me to come to Steelwater. It was in her handwriting. Oh. Is Steelwater kind of like the same place as the uh, mansion in the last game? The Beyond? Hmm, a letter too. That's the lead I'm following to find my sister. What about dates? Did you just have one? Mine dated three months ago, but I just got it last week. Mine too. Hey, something strange is going on here, I think. Do you know anything about it? What? You mean those monsters and the disappearances? No, I don't know anything at all. Why do you ask? I'm experienced something like this before. That was when I lost Tiffany. It was years ago, but there were monsters similar to these, to the ones here. But I think something different is happening here. Oh, is that the main protagonist from the first game? You've experienced events like this before? When? Who exactly are you? I'm the sole survivor of an incident that occurred at scientific facility seven years ago. The administrator of the facility caused an accident. Somebody had paid him to do so. The incident pulled the whole facility into an interdimensional breach. We were all stuck in a strange world filled with bizarre creatures. I managed to undo it and return us to reality, but Tiffany, she didn't make it out. This is such... This is what I wanted! Fuck! Fuck! One Night to the Beyond. That was a garbage game. This, bringing back some information about the original game, introducing back Colt, which was from the first game, saying, um, making, having these decisions. I'm sorry she didn't make it. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be this kind of guy. Anyway, this isn't like that. Firstly, there's the letters that both of us received from our lost ones. And then there's the fact that this whole area is still firmly in the middle of reality anyway. The monsters are different too. I heard that there was a scientific demonstration in Steelwater on the day before on the day everyone vanished. Maybe something similar happened. Something weird is definitely going on. What with the letters and everything. Well, I noticed that the power came back on. There were a few doors that I couldn't that couldn't be unlocked with power without power. I'm going to go and see what I can find in this place. There must be a way through town. They brought back an original character. That's exactly what you should do in a sequel like this, especially the third game. Okay, I'll do that too. Let's both be careful. There could be something, some dangerous things down here. I hope you find a way through. Me too. Anyway, I hope you find your sister. I know what it's like to lose somebody close. There we go! Can I follow him? I sure can! A floor tile has been ripped up and live electronics can be seen. A discarded keycard lies amongst the wires, but it's, it'll be killed if I just reach with my bare hands and grab it. Well, I do have the leather glove, right? Use the leather glove. Pick up the security guard. There we go! That works for me. Found a bloodied miner's diary. August 12th. They released the first images of the new tunnel today, and I was surprised. There was what appeared to be some sort of ancient monolith buried in the rock. Okay. That's good. I swear it looks centuries old. Very ancient. But still, I can't help but notice that there's something modern about it too. Like something out of a science fiction movie. I wonder what's inside it. August 15th. Everyone's seen the monolith by now. Nobody can seem to pinpoint where it's from, but we all agree that there's a strange menace about it. Some of the men have begun start become having strange nightmares about it, and one guy who went off to look at it in the night has gone missing. I'm gonna investigate this. 
August 17th. Three more men are now missing. It's strange, but while researching the monolith on the net, I found pictures of very similar looking artifact, which was dug over 60 years ago in ruins under a supposedly haunted mansion known as Beyond. Apparently, a team of scientists uh, recently, in 2016, went to this place to study it, but it had vanished. August 21st, I found out what's happened. The monolith at the beyond was dug up in the 1950s, marking the start of the hauntings, but when they stopped in the 80s, it vanished. The scientists from in town are saying our monolith seems to have first arrived in the mine around that time. What's going on here? What's the secret? I wish I could find out more, but tomorrow's the scientific demonstration in Stillwater, and we're supposed to attend. There we go. This is a sequel. Okay, I kind of like that they mentioned, um... I like how they mentioned the beyond. Although, I'm not sure how important that is. Commemorating Mayor Carl Noble, founder of Stillwater Mining Works, June 1997. There you go. Here's a security card. I've completed the terminus operation. Any remi remaining electronic locks in the area have been disabled. I have a bad feeling about this. Mike, we're not allowed to let anyone but the scientists down into the new area of the mine. New rules since that monolith thing was unearthed. You'll be in charge of the elevator access while I'm in the demonstration tomorrow. So remember this clue. The passport is a significant year in the mine's history. With each digit advanced by one, nine becomes zero. Okay, so it's a 1997, I assume, but the difference is that it doesn't become a... It's not 1997, so it's gonna be two, zero, zero, eight. Yay, I entered the code and the push button. The lock on the elevator doors was released. We don't, there we go, I do, I do video games. I, I do video games. This is such jump scare sounds. Like, I know there's gonna be a jump scare. <laughs> Call it. What the hell is this? Dear God, you shouldn't sneak up on people like that. I thought for a second you were one of those monsters. I thought everyone around here was long gone. Who are you? My name's Tom. I'm going to steal the world to search for my sister. Who are you? Uh, what the hell is this thing here? I'm. Um. I'm Terra. You can say I'm here because I'm searching for someone too. A brother I lost long ago. I'm going to wait in Stillwater for his return. You're looking for someone in Stillwater too? Did you receive a letter too? A letter? No, what makes you say that? Hmm. I met this guy earlier and he was looking for someone too. He'd been sent a letter calling him for Stillwater. Just like I was as well. A man? There's somebody else here? That's good, isn't it? Yes, yeah, actually... Yes, yeah, excellent actually. It means we're not the only ones going through this, eh? Um. Yeah, that's true, we are safe in numbers. Yeah, we're safe in numbers. Anyway, what is the thing here? These ruins? They're the remnants of something not of this world. The miners unearthed them about a week before the incident that wiped out the citizens of Stillwater. The, rem the remnants of something not from this world? What exactly do you mean by that? The monolith here. It was first discovered in the ruinous tunnels underneath the old mansion in the Midwest called the Beyond. The man who found it, he researched its origin and discovered that it was the remnants of a space-faring capsule, which had brought extraterrestrial beings from the star system Alpha Centauri to Earth. It had housed at the aliens, the Shadow People as they became known, for millennia until they regained their power. The homeworld had become overpopulated and they had to come to Earth to take over. They used the mansion as their base, slowly gaining power as the years went on, but in the late 1980s they were defeated by one lucky victim. With their power reduced to almost nothing, the hold on the mansion ceased and the monolith disappeared soon after. That's about when it showed up down here, buried in the mining complex until it was discovered. Have you seen the people of, the Sh of Shadow here? They're here. And they're involved with what's happening there here too. And they've been behind much more than this as well. That sounds absolutely crazy. How do you know these things, Terra? Why are you so sure? Oh? Didn't you at least research Steelwater before you came here? It's stupid to just come here without learning anything you can 
Um, I'll tell you what though, I think the shadow people like us are just victims of what's happened here. The shadow people can control living creatures amongst other things, but it seems they cannot, they can't control these monsters. Wait, how do you know this? I've seen the shadow man, but how do you, how can you tell he's not affili affiliated with the monsters? You haven't noticed that they flee from the monsters too. Anyway, their presence here in Steelwater since the late 1980s would be explained why there have been strange things happening in town over the last 20 years or so. People reporting all these strange visions, miners getting sick for no reason, things like that. When these ruins were discovered not long ago, miners actually started to, started to disappear. I guess the shadows had regained their lost power. Then there was a demonstration, and now this. Well, it's certainly weird. That's not how you write weird! Grammar Nazi! Grammar Nazi! See Kyle! But if that's true, and the shadow people are involved in a situation out of their control, then I wonder exa exactly what the hell happened. Whatever caused this must have been something they didn't know about, or something they didn't expect. That's if any of what you, what you told me is true anyway. Don't you worry, it's... What's that? Damn, it's a leader. It's coming! I haven't saved in a long time, no! The leader? Leader of what? The shadow people? No, no, the leader of the months. Damn, it's close. Look, there's no time to talk. If you get out of here, remember, the answer can be found in steel water. Hey, dude, fuck you! I don't wanna die! Tira's letter. The movie that's right before I'm gonna fucking die because I forgot to save the game. Oh, to Dr. Alex Makani. Alex Makani was the original um, bad guy who started this bullshit in One Night One. And it's been mentioned in every game after that. To Alex Makani, administrator. Makani Industries, Quantum Research Complex, February 2012. Dear Mr. Makani, you don't know us, but we know you, and we know of the work you perform. It has come to our attention that you have in your possession a machine capable of tapping into and altering the space-time continuum. We spare you the details. All you need to know is that we know the fundamentals of the merges you can create. We are interested in testing a theory we have about one of the applica applications for this process. Thus, Dr. McCartney, we need to create a merge for us. Vast amounts of payment will follow, um, along with our continued interaction. Please, Dr. McCartney, do not forget, forget about us. John Faraday, the Society of Shadows. Fascinating. So not only... So only a society behind all this. Please give me a save already. <laughs> no! Do I have to fight against him? I have to fight him now! Jesus! I'm not gonna be able to fight him! Damn! Hey big guy! Oh, I have no strength left! Damn it! Okay, I'm gonna have to use um, painkillers and um, some stimulants just in case. Um, I'll break myself first. That's fucking useless. Ah! Okay, so the combat system is still the same as from the as from the first game. Which is kind of boring. Yeah, so the combat system is still the same. But... Wait, I have to fight him. There you go. Whoa! Escape by going down this hole. I better get out of here before it comes back. Okay! This is what I like! This is what I like about this game! When you're doing these 
um, you have to fight against some of the enemies, but not all of them. In the last game, it sucked that you couldn't escape, and then it explains why you couldn't escape by just saying the doors are suddenly locked. In this game, you don't have time to mess with the lev uh, levers, so you get my point. It's so much better. I'm so proud of these people. I'm so proud of the developers about how much they actually um how they made this game so much better. You know. There we go. Save area. So I can save here, right? Uh, computer, I can use it to save my progress. Save game for Archive 2. Okay. So, when I started One Night 2, I made the first video about that game. Um, after the first video, if I remember correctly, um, I said I was disappointed so far because of the amount of jump scares and stuff like that. Now, I'm positively surprised. I'm actually so happy that this game works this well. Like, this seems to work better than One Night One, because I, I even though the combat system is still kind of cancer, I, I don't like the whole um, um, turn-based combat. It doesn't work that well, in my opinion. But at least in this game, they have taken the good things about the first game, which is this uh, survival horror, uh, trying to avoid your enemies. And they took the fighting, and they made it better. They made everything in this game better, so far. And even the story seems more interested, interesting because they took the first game into consideration. Now, I didn't remember that the first game, or the second game, was in the 80s, so they couldn't actually talk about um, what's happened in 2012 at the um, merge. But... I still... I, I dislike the game, and I can be honest about that. But this game just fucking works a lot better, and I honestly hope that they're not gonna fuck this up, because right now, this is exactly what I want from RPG Maker games, and, well, there's nothing left to say after that, honestly. I'm just so happy that it works out this time. So, about that, thank you everybody for watching the first episode of One Night Full Circle. And I will see you in the next one. See ya.